What's good? My name is Mike Osterman, and I want to talk to you today about footwork tricks. Freestyle skateboarding is all about finding unique ways to ride your skateboard. It's also about finding ways to do so with as much flow as possible. And the way that we keep things flowing is with footwork. Woo, okay, I'm warmed up now. Uh, where's the camera? Hi. If you break it down, footwork is really just pivots, shuffles, steps, carves, and wheelies done in like a million different combinations. It's really that simple. Now you're probably familiar with walk the dogs and spacewalks, but there's so much more, so much more. Now, the first thing I try to teach any freestyler is footwork, but more specifically, tic tacs, tail stop shuffles, penguin walks, and monster walks. Those are really the foundational tricks for most freestyle footwork lines. Consider a walk the dog, right? Before you can dive into those sorts of fast, smooth steps, it's extremely important that you're comfortable de-weighting your front foot and lifting your front wheels off the ground, kind of like in a tic-tac. You also need to be comfortable turning the board end over end the same way that you would in a monster walk. All oh, that muscle memory just comes from other tricks. You gotta get good at tricks to get good at other tricks. You gotta practice. Most importantly, you gotta practice. And walk the dogs are fun. They're sort of a staple that a lot of us use to transition from trick to trick. There's also switch blades, which share a lot in common with that tail stop shuffle. When you do a switchblade, you end up in tail stop having to switch your feet around. It's all connected. Now, I'm not sure if I'd consider spins a footwork trick. Oh, that's my record. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Whoa, what was I saying? Cool, the new boards are good. <laughs> the tails feel good. I'm not sure if I'd consider spins a footwork trick or more of just like a component of so many footwork maneuvers, footwork stunts, if you will. You can do walk the dogs with spins, spacewalks with spins. So many variations of tricks like the Mraz twist and other goofy variations involve spinning. And just spinning on two wheels whoo, can be so much fun. Uh, until you kind of fall off and lose your balance. And every freestyle skateboarder does their footwork a little bit differently. We all kind of put our own unique touch on the tricks that we do. Like this twister of a footwork sequence that Daniel Adam has perfected. You can probably follow like the history of that trick from Daniel to Christian Heise to I think Gunter to probably somebody else. I love freestyle skateboarding. And other regions like Japan, and Brazil and parts of the US have their own sort of footwork traditions. Everyone in Long Beach does Mraz twists, except for me today, I can't do them. My wrist really hurts. Consider learning some freestyle footwork. Uh, I have all of the trick tips for the basics of footwork on the Waltz trick tip blog. You can also find cards for trick tip videos to those tricks somewhere on here. I'll also be adding more advanced footwork trick tips in the future, so keep an eye on that blog. Footwork's really fun. Like I said, there's a million different combinations that you can do. There's different variations for every footwork trick. They all sort of have this foundation of pivots and carves and endovers. And if you can start with those and really perfect your board feel with tic tacs, endovers, monster walks, tail stop shuffles, you will want to learn more footwork. Have fun with it. And most importantly, keep being good to each other, keep taking care of each other, keep dancing. We'll see you next week for another video. I'm gonna go ice my wrist because it is very sore. Thank you, Daniel Adam. One day I'm gonna get that footwork combo. I swear. Bye. I can't believe I got my spin record. That was sick. Oh, that's my record. That's pretty cool. <laughs>